Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game features a pair of runners who love to barrel through opposing defenses. It's Zach Stacy going up against Marshawn Lynch. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 7 matchup. Seahawks, Rams on EA Sports as we're getting set for today's Week 7 matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. You just have to love these types of games because there's just so much bad blood. There's such a deep rivalry here. The spirit is intense, and these teams will do anything to beat the other team. Yeah, I think you're right. They're willing to take chances. We found that out with the coaches this week talking to them. They know this is a rivalry game. They're playing a good team, so they're going to take these chances to give their guys a chance to win. And the bad blood, wow, it sounds bad, but that's good because that means it's going to be physical on the field. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. The Seahawks are back deep waiting for the kick return. The Rams setting up here for the kickoff. Shrugs off the first hit. They'll mark the football at the 22. Wilson's going to be leading the offense once again today. He didn't have a big game last week, so we'll see if that changes here today. They come to the line, and it's first down. They bring in the extra tight end to the ground. Wins all over the ball carrier. Here's a look at the Seahawks offense. This is the highest scoring team in the NFL. Leads us to second down. Wilson keeps it. Good throw, good catch, and the receiver fights through to pick up the first. Wilson is able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer, gets himself in very good position to throw the football. First down here after the completion. This play set up by the long gainer. Wilson with the give. And he's brought to the ground. And now here's the Rams defense. They know they need to force turnovers today. Coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Second down coming up. They better hurry to get the snap. Keeps it here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. What a way to start the game on offense. Picking up another first down for them. They are in rhythm. And now no matter what they call, they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen.
The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. That'll stop the play right there. Well, when you're going to run the football, if that's your objective, you cannot get frustrated by short runs. You know that it's going to build itself as the game goes along, so keep trying it. And now they'll try over again on second down. Turbin takes his spot in the backfield. They run the counter play. Right side. Take it down at the 33. The defense stands up early and stops the run cold. Good job that time. You said it, Jim, by the defense. They attacked the offensive line, and there was nowhere for the running back to run the football. The Seahawks come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October will be seeing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Third down and six. Toss to the outside. And Daniels is able to read that play and make the hit. That time, that's just a bad decision by the running back. He makes the wrong read. The offensive line blocked it right. But when you make the wrong read, you're going to get tackled. That time he gets tackled for a loss. Bradford's 